Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan and I'm building a straight-tailed Sonics and I also film other sorts of uh, fun aviation videos and all sorts of other fun things. Uh, but first, before we go work on the airplane today, we're going to check on the chickens. Popping off the roost, I think they think I'm bringing them some food. Don't have any right now. Good morning, ladies! Last time I worked on the airplane, I fit the floor on and popped it back onto its bottom. And then I started working on the tail. I did not have my camera with me while I was working on the tail because I wanted to um, not have the distraction of it. I wanted to really uh, work on it as hard as I could by myself. So I went back over here and I got the tail to fit on beautifully. I had to uh, grind out some really small spots in here, but that's okay. Um, that's what it's des uh, designed to do, uh, top and bottom. And then I got some of the uh, tail wheel holders uh, to pop on. And so now that it's on here, I can go back and um, make sure it's straight, which as of right now, it's extremely straight. Um, oh, I also had to grind out some of the uh, skin on here to make sure that fit. That's in the plans as well. And I have some of these. Let me see if I can show you a better angle. Up here, it might be difficult to see, uh, there are a couple of um, clips that hang on both sides. This is the clip right here specifically and um, it will be riveted into here and then bolted to the rudder spar. But the other thing I did which is really fun is I got the floor out and I started kind of mocking up where the wing box will go. So this is uh, oriented, orientation, did, oriented, okay, I'm not sure what the word is. This is oriented in the correct direction. This is where uh, the passenger's bottom will go right here. This is the wing box. This is the firewall right here. And I'm trying to slowly figure out how this uh, will look and go across it. So the next steps is to start reading the plans a little more closely. I know I have some uh, pieces to put over here. I like to get some of the pieces just out and then go over the plans back and forth and, and really get them to uh, figure out where they're going to go. What's also fun is that I'm going to be um, installing my autopilot servo receivers uh, in the relative near future. So I need to go online to dynon.com and buy my uh, roll and my pitch servo. Uh, they have, well actually not the servos themselves. Uh, they have a little temple, they're about $75 a piece with uh, little bits of aluminum so you can drill into the Sonos kit where it goes properly. And then that will go and um, be the place you'll plug your servo into later on. Hey everyone, back on day two working on the airplane. And since I uh, showed you last, I went ahead and I put the floor on a little bit. It's a little bit half on there right now. I'll take a, uh, show you and you can see what it looks like. So by putting the sides on and then putting the floor on underneath, uh, just kind of crudely click it in place. I can kind of see what it's starting to look like. I like to get kind of a visual map of what it's going to end up looking uh, like. When, and uh, then I can understand what I'm doing and then I can figure out my way of drilling it and getting up to the right size. So it's looking pretty cool. Um, realize I need to buy some uh, channel stock for here. And uh, this is also neat. Uh, this is the instrument panel. Over here is a glare shield. And now I'm starting to work on is actually the uh, fuel filler. This is stainless steel. I need to start bending it to get it ready for attaching to this piece over here. So I'm kind of doing it piecemeal all over the place, just kind of working little bits here and there. Uh, I'm just having a lot of fun with this day, so I'm going to work on it for a few more hours to see how it all goes. Got the fuel filler bent. Now to get on this piece. I finished the top of the firewall with the fuel filler box. Well, the first part of it. I still have one more piece to put on. Um, it looks okay. It's not super pretty of a part in general, but um, it'll work just fine. And the next step is to put on this little uh, piece will go across the top. Got the doubler on the firewall. And I'm going to go ahead and call the day because that's been a lot of work. Again, the box looks okay to me. It doesn't look like aesthetically pleasing, but at the same time, this thing is so strong and this is not really a um, part that carries any weight. It's more just the firewall keeping any possible fire from uh, the engine compartment reaching the passengers, which is a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and call it now. Then I think tomorrow I'm going to start working on the wing box. I really need to finish the wing box uh, so I can get that permanently mounted to that um, bottom skin. And then I can, now having seen the airplane on the ground and how it all fits together, 
I think I am gonna pop it back up on the sawhorses and uh, be able to attach the wing box from below and then I'll be able to hub and spoke out the rest of the holes to make sure it fits nice and tight around everything else. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think also the next step, I need to go in and go to dynon.com and order my two um, servo kits for my aileron and elevator servo. So that might be another separate video talking about what I'm gonna be doing for the uh, avionics and how it all worked together with the avionics and the autopilot system. So thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's anything else you wanna see specifically, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll just keep working on it. Talk to you all soon, thanks.